Hello everyone, I'm Eric Shamoris and welcome to Resident Evil. Well, that screwed it up. I was on options. I didn't want to be on options. Hold on, let's try that again. There we go. This game came out on PlayStation 2, God knows when I... Oh, it says down at the bottom, 2003. Uh, which is probably my favorite favorite Resident Evil game that's not one of the original three and I, I just decided to play it because burnout's over so I need a another series to kind of replace the Monday series and I wanted another short series Resident Evil Outbreak it only has five scenarios like there's there's basically five levels kind of and so it should only be five episodes assuming I don't die because if what I'm going to do, since the scenarios, some of them are longer, I'm going to try to do them all in one go, mostly because, you know, the save system, it, it's not really meant to be saved in the middle of it, the scenarios, kind of. It, it's more meant to, uh, you know, basically play them all in one go. But... Yeah, you know, if I get 10 minutes into an episode and find a safe s spot, I'm not going to want to save. I'm going to want to, you know, keep going. I, I, but then if I don't find another save episode, uh, save spot, I'm screwed. So I'm going to keep these. They're going to probably be long. I don't know how long. I don't remember how long some of these episodes are. I might actually cut them in the middle if I have to. Otherwise, it's going to end when I finish level or when I die. Now... First level, outbreak. It was a typical night at Jay's bar. Some uninvited guests crashed the party. Our race for survival was just beginning. Another weird thing about this game is that episodes are, the scenarios are out of order. Like the first one comes first, the last one comes last, but then the middle three are just who God knows where. I think the fourth one comes at the same time as the first, first one or something. The timeline's like completely screwed up. My controller is completely wrapped in my headset cord and that's gonna just go badly for me. Uh, I have no idea who to play as. There's eight characters, Kevin. High quality handgun at the start. He's a police officer. Mark, security guard. He is strong with melee weapons. Well, I don't know why you'd use melee weapons. Jim, subway staff. He will rarely be attacked by enemies. That's probably good for me. George, doctor. He can create many types of medicines. David, plumber. He can create new weapons using tools. Alyssa, reporter. She's a master of unlocking things. Yoko. She can hold more, than, more items at one time. And Cindy. She can heal her friends. I am going to go with Jim. Just because... Oh! That makes my decision much easier. I was actually, because there's easy, normal, hard, and very hard. Part of me really wants to do hard and very hard, like try them. But I kind of want to get through episodes first. So I thought, I'm going to do normal. Well, that's the highest I can go. So uh, that's that kind of helps my decision. Uh, I'll watch the cutscene. Why not? But... Yeah, like, if I get through all the episodes, fine. If I get through all the series, fine, which I should, because I've beaten all of them plenty of times before. If I get through all of them, fine, and then once I get to... Ooh, I think that's Birkin. I don't think I fight him at all in this entire game, but I think that's him. I love how it's like... Resident Evil, they, they, Resident Evil always seems to do this. They have like the weird like artistic, like entrance, like opening scenes. Or at least, I, I don't remember whether the original games had them, but it seems like every newer game always seems to have them. I, I call this a newer game, 12 years old. But, uh, but yeah, the very hard, uh, after I unlock them, like once I beat all of these on normal and once I unlock very hard, if enough people want to see it, and if I feel like I can actually do it, I'm, I'll try it. I know I'm going to die miserably, like, a few times. The other thing about, like, this game is the difficulty isn't just the difficulty of the enemies. Like, stuff actually changes. Like, uh, in, in this part, in this scenario, there's a part where there's, like, a ton of zombies, and you kind of have to escape the zombies. Like, you don't have to sit there and kill them all. You kind of have to escape them, but... In hard and very hard, they're replaced by a completely different enemy. They're not zombies. And the first time you see them, it's like... 
it, it, it's like, holy crap, I, I'm used to this being zombies. Why is this not zombies? And uh, it actually requires like different strategies and stuff. And there's certain things that you can, like certain, uh, I, I don't know what you want to call them, tasks, achievements, like there's sort of like things that you have to do in each scenario to, like to get 100%. Uh, some of them you can only do in like the harder scenarios though. Oh no, he's being eaten by rats and he's alive! No, he's still alive, don't eat him! He might be a zombie, I'm not sure. That, that's creepy. And then the head pulls off. I don't know if that was his actual head or if that was just symbolism, but that's just creepy. I say like, oh, I don't know if that was his actual head, as if that was like a real person, but... Okay, enough with the rats. Finally getting into the story. I think. That is dark. I really need to turn the brightness up on my TV, because I was complaining about this with Skull Monkeys too. All the Skull Monkeys ended up being really dark. Like, when I recorded it. But, I... I... I should have turned up the brightness, not only on the game, but maybe on my TV. But, uh, I'll definitely brighten it up in post. In, in post. I, I don't think I've ever used those words before. Holy crap, that is dark. How dark is it actually recording? There was a disruption earlier at today's actually, you know what? I'm going to do that now. I'm going to brighten it up since I didn't actually get anywhere yet. I'll be right back. I died because I quit the game. Although I realized I could, uh, I completed no events. Although I realized I could turn on, turn up the brightness in the game. I kind of wanted the cutscene to be brightened. So, well, at least it's going to be brighter now. And I died. So that's something. Holy crap. That is still dark as hell. The actual game is much brighter, but the, uh, it seems like the cutscenes don't really get any brighter. So, uh, I'll just deal with it. I I'll probably brighten up the cutscene in while I'm editing. <laughs> yeah! Yeah, I'll definitely brighten up the cutscene, but the actual gameplay should be fine. The gameplay was dark as hell, like, I could not tell what was going on in the, like, five seconds that I saw it. Aren't you eating anything? No. Hey, Bob, where's your mind at? What? Uh, full of zombie. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Uh-oh! Oh, no! Huh? What a weird customer. What a weird customer. Who is this guy? Damn it. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, shit. I've played this way too many times. I've seen these cutscenes so much. Dude, that would be freaking terrifying. That, that would be... Oh, that would be so terrifying to just be sitting at, at a window and just suddenly you turn and zombies. Like when there were no zombies five minutes ago. Just suddenly turn, boom, zombies. Be like Five Nights at Freddy's, only actually more scary. Because I think zombies would be a little more s scary than animatronics. Maybe. Honestly, they're both terrifying. Yes, the game is much brighter, and uh, it actually looks like it's recording pretty fine. No, don't push it that way. I'm, I'm like paying attention to everything that's. Th that's the thing. This game was not fully optimized, because like areas like that, someone picked up an item, or, or switched weapons or something. Probably switched weapons, and that's why it like lagged there. Anytime someone switches weapons, it takes uh, some time. I'm doing this first because this is the, like, like this is, first of all, it's an event. Second of all, it keeps the zombies from coming in as quickly. 
Uh, there's a gun right there. I need to get that because the other... Actually, I don't know who's with me. I think Kevin's with me, which he starts with a gun. And if Mark's with me, he also starts with a gun. Oh, fuck. Sometimes this level's glitchy. It See, I can't push it all the way to the other one, so it might not actually register as being in front of the door, which means I might not get the event. Uh, triangle? Is that the button? No, that was the map. It's, it's just start. This game is kind of laggy. Luckily, it's not laggy... F already?! Okay, it did count as it blocked up, because the cutscene's playing like that. But already?! Dude, it usually takes them so much longer! I know I've beaten this on normal before. I've beaten this on hard before. This is, shouldn't be a surprise to me. Why? Why? Are they in already? See, I think partially it's random. Like, uh, sometimes they break in, like, within a few seconds, and sometimes it takes them, like, ten minutes to break in. Because, like, sometimes you can get pretty much past Jay's bar before they even break into Jay's bar. Uh, I gotta equip that weapon. I don't think I have any- I don't have any ammo for it. I have, like, whatever's in the gun and that's it. Uh, luckily, see, the thing about this game, hoarding ammo isn't necessarily the best thing to do. Which is kind of weird when you think about it. I have no idea- I- I need- I need the key to that door. I have no idea. The key to that door is right here. I was gonna say, I don't know where the key to that door is, because, like, uh, I think in very hard mode, it's on the dude that just died. Which means you have to wait for them to break in to be able to do anything. Uh, I know I can call my... my friends. Like, I can call Mark and Kevin and tell them, you know, come to me, you know, go over there, you know, stuff like that. I don't remember the controls for that. I barely remember the controls to shoot. Uh, what are the controls to shoot? Okay, that. It's what? that and X. Playing manual two. I will not read it now, but I will get something for picking it up. There's also collectibles. Uh, I knew that was coming. There are also collectibles that you can find. The thing is, the collectibles are completely random. Or not completely random. Well, it's kind of random which ones spawn, and there's no indication that they're there. So it's very hard to know, like, what to do, I, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Like, it's hard to know where the stuff is that you need. Like, where the... Uh, that guy... Does that guy come up? Was that a guy? It's still dark. Uh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna raise the brightness all the way. Fuck it. Uh, because I would prefer to see my death coming. I don't think I need to go into here. I don't think there's anything in here. There might be some ammo. That's the thing, like, I, I remember exactly what I have to do for every single scenario. It's the rest of the items. Like, I don't know where the good items are. I don't know where... Like, I don't know if there's ammo. Yep, he followed me in! Crap, 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 crap. Crap, 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 crap. See, that's the thing. You walk into a room, it's not like the other Resident Evil games where you walk into a room and it's just whatever zombies are in there. No, they follow you. They're coming up the stairs right now. I I, I guarantee you they're coming up the stairs right now. Oh, f speaking of, oh my god, he's up and unfollowed me already. Oh my god, I need the nail gun. Where's the nail gun? Where's the nail gun? You, you asshole! I needed that! You don't know how to use that! Uh, isn't there ammo in the fridge? I'm thinking of very easy mode. Or easy mode. I'm thinking of easy mode. Uh, I, okay, the key's still there. I needed that. Uh, oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, this is... Way more terrifying. See, usually I have plenty of time to look around and find stuff. I, I, I really have to go go book through this because luckily this is the only level where I'm actually going to have to book through this because this is the only level where zombies are actually like invading. The rest of the levels, there's other enemies that I'm going to have to worry about. I, I will have to book through 
the third episode actually without revealing what it is the third episode and part of the fifth but like i i didn't think i'd have to book through this level as much as i have to i'm not used to them breaking like i'm used to being up in the break room before they uh break in like i'm used to because what i wanted the nail gun for is if you get the nail gun i don't care if you get the nail gun, I need the forklift key. Is there anything else? Jack's diary. See, there's a special item. Like I was talking about. I don't need the raccoon thing. I could use the raccoon. It, it's a paper. There's the uh, typewriter I was talking about. Like the save points. Like there's save points in the game. But I mean, at this point, I've only actually been playing the game for like 10 minutes. I... I talked way too much before that like explaining the game explaining a bunch of crap oh crap they're already breaking the god damn it like this game isn't even that scary but i i guess i'm just not expecting them to be here you're not sure well i am so luckily i'm here uh there's also the dude bob that was in the uh, yeah, you guys might want to follow me, and, uh, Jim, you might want to actually go to the ladder. Yeah. But... Let's go. Okay, I figured it out. Kevin. <laughs> Come on! Let's go. Don't know what to do. Hurry! There's one thing I came across. I don't care. What I'm thinking. Thank you so much. Help! Yes. Okay. Good. Yeah, fine. I, I, I'm, I'm playing with the buttons just to figure out if there's, if I can figure out, I found it. you know, any sort of, like, like, because I think sometimes you can start conversations, ad-libbing, that's what it is, it's square, you, you get them to just talk about random crap, although there is a glitch, I'm not playing as Alyssa though, if I'm playing as Alyssa, apparently on this level there's a glitch, we've actually run into it before, me and my one friend, we were playing this game, and we actually ran into it where... What is the run button? Circle! I, I was pushing X because, you know, I'm thinking like... Anyone else hear that? The uh, garage door. Uh, yeah, that was zombies breaking in. I don't think there's any zombies on the rooftop. There are crows. But uh, I, I've, I've had like five thoughts in the last five minutes. I've just been focused and trying to get through. Yeah, they're crows. Oh, fuck. There we go. Oh, th hold on. This fell off of my controller. I, I mean, it's been loose, but it actually fell off in the middle of that gunfight. Luckily, it didn't fall, like, fall off in the middle of somewhere important. Like, if it was, like, much more important, that would have been worse. Why is circle not working? I thought circle was run. Squares run. Did I just change my controls? How did I do that? I changed it to type B. I just figured out the controls. Stop changing them on me, me. Okay. Oh, there's a guy. I should probably not be... I forgot Jim could do that. But you notice the bar going up at the top. Or at the bottom. Uh, unequip that because I actually don't want it. I'll let Kevin take care of him. There's a st I don't know where the storage key is. Damn it. There's ammo in there, I'm pretty sure. Oh, god damn it. Like, I, I'm used to playing this on easy mode. and be I've beaten it on easy mode so many times. I know I've played it on hard, and I think I've beaten it on hard. I might have beaten it on normal, too. But the thing is, I don't know where any of the control... Where, where, where the controls are. Yeah. I don't know where any of the, uh, things are. Thing is, if I get to that checkpoint, I'm good. Because then there's two options to win the game, and one of them is, like, an instant win. It's easy. Uh, like, like, if I get, if I get there, if I go there, I'm, I won.
The other one's a little more difficult, but even on normal, it shouldn't be too hard because... <sighs> yeah, I'll do that one because it's cooler. A anyone that's never seen this game and has no idea what I'm talking about is really confused right now, but... Oh, fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Uh, hopefully they're competent. They're usually good at this. They have to jump. Yes. Kevin made it. That's good. Oh, I made it. I never make that. I Because it's all about timing. You have to push X at the right time. And I oh, I can never make it. Luckily, I can... Yes. Luckily, I made it. Because then Kevin didn't have to pull me up. But I had to pull Mark up. Which... Not a huge deal. Uh, I haven't seen any ammo. And I have two bullets. That is not a good thing. That is not a good thing. Oh, I have a first aid spray, so that's something. But uh, when I flopped as Jim, like he has a thing where he can flop and enemies don't attack him. Which is really good if he's hurt. The bad thing about that is you saw the... Uh... <sighs> that could be useful. That's actually very useful. Because I can combine those two and now I have two full heals. Uh, but the number that went up, that's the virus meter. In this level, this is a short level, so it shouldn't really matter. But in later levels, if you take too long and that fills up, you die. Because you're technically infected by the virus. Which, uh, is scary as hell. There's a zombie! I remember that zombie. Uh, yeah, I would help you, but I don't even have my weapon equipped. Because I don't want to waste the two bullets that I have. Uh, I need ammo, though. That's the thing. Like, the next few parts, they're not... I can get through without shooting a gun. It's just, there. it's a lot easier if I have a gun to shoot just in case. Oh, no. I'm definitely gonna have to brighten this up. You startled me. I'm surprised you're still alive. The whole city's a war zone. Yeah. Now, move the police car over there to build a barricade. No, I can barely see the police car. I'll I'll see it once the game actually starts. Loading screens. Uh See, I I'm I'm usually I'm not the kind of person that cares about a port. Like I'm completely fine with I'm looking for ammo. There's no ammo this way. That's not good. I'll push this one first. Because uh, I, I can finish this two ways. Either by time or by pushing all the cars. Both of the cars, I should say. And blocking off the paths. The issue is there's zombies there and they're going to break through and block me. They're going to block me. They didn't block me. But they... Okay. So that's there. That's there. There we go. Uh, I need to... Kill him. Kill him! Kill him! No! Don't grab me! I don't care about killing now. Dude, they are freaking strong! I think they disappear when they're... I love how he just falls to the ground and... To crawl under. But I think they disappear in this game once they're dead, dead. Like, I don't think it's like Resident Evil 1 or any of the others where you are, you're kind of guessing whether or not they're dead. Uh, it, it's pretty obvious when they're dead. Uh, okay, so he's through, but that shouldn't matter. As long as I can start pushing the car. Because I think once I get it there, if I remember correctly, the cutscenes... Yes! I got it. I'm, I'm actually, like, fairly stressed. Partially, partially because I haven't played this oh game God, in so long. We gotta go. That cutscene's brighter. Maybe because it was right under a streetlight. Next one's not gonna be bright. And uh, he's gonna be... Well, you'll see. In like five minutes when it loads. Oh, never mind. I thought the cutscene was next. First aid, but I don't need that. See, I wish... I kinda wish I chose David. Uh, I could use my two bullets, which would help. 
I'll just... There's no friendly fire, so I can stand right in the middle of his shotgun burst. And... Because there's zombies coming, and basically the door needs to be broken down. If you have a shotgun, it's really helpful here. If you have tons of handgun bullets, it's even more helpful. Well, it's also really helpful. Get, stay away from him. Yo. No, 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 no. God damn it. 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 I don't know. Am I hurt? I think I'm hurt. I think I'm hurt. Stay away. Stay away. Oh, he got pesticide. That was pesticide. That wasn't... Ooh, I'm very hurt. Use. Did I use it? I don't think I used it. I did. Uh, I'm still very hurt, though. Oh, shit. This is not good. The thing that sucks is freaking Kevin took all of the weapons he still has the freaking nail gun but it's used up he has handgun rounds why you don't have a handgun that uses those rounds you're a fucking idiot you are you are you are the dumbest I just need I, I just need to hold him off until he See the guy disappeared. Okay, so uh Where's Mark? He needs this. Mark and Kevin both need this. Where are they? Where are they? Someone take it. Okay, fuck you then. Neither of you take it. I'll take it. God damn it. I was presenting them health. They're both almost dead, which sucks. Oh. See, this is a game, like, I usually don't care about whether or not they remake a game or something. I mean, it's definitely easier if they remake it for PC or even just the newer console. Because then it's easier to, it, you have more ac access to it. This game is one that I would love for them to remake because of the multiplayer. Because... Basically, I think it was it was either three or four player multiplayer where basically they would just take place of Kevin and Mark. They would just be smarter versions of them, hopefully. But the thing is, if you die, you could turn into a zombie. Like, you could turn into a zombie and actually go and attack the players. Which, on one hand, is really fun. On the other hand, would really piss off people. Especially if you're playing on, like, very hard mode and... Oh, God. Well, maybe you should have taken the health when you had a chance. Uh, I would have run. Ooh. Ooh. That could be useful. This is more useful, though. Oh, Kevin. Kevin, get your ass back here. I can't heal you right now. Uh, you're kind of surrounded. You guys are fucked. I don't want to shoulder him. Turn on the freaking... Turn the valve! There we go. Uh, they are kind of screwed. I didn't realize how much one more difficulty level would completely make your, uh, the computer players absolutely useless. Like, they are the most useless people that I've ever met. And that's the other reason why I wish this was multiplayer. Still. Like, I, even if the PlayStation, even if they had the server still running and had the ability to bring it online i'd find a way i would get the stuff to bring it online luckily i think they're still both alive i really hope they're still both alive oh yay i win all of them are burnt, despite the fact that, like, most of them were right next to me, and I probably should have, in theory, burnt up Kevin and Mark in that fire. Uh, but... Because they were both almost dead, and... Now's the time to run, though. Oh, shit, Kevin. You're an asshole. I can't- I can't carry you. We both have to jump and swim. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Okay, good. You actually can do it. I actually was not sure. Was I far enough away? I don't know if the canal's safe.
Because there's an... Uh, one of the events is to die in that explosion. I'm really hoping jumping into the canal is good enough. I think it was. I don't think I need to actually get out of the area. I think I just needed to jump into the canal to be safe from that explosion. Oh, thank God. Because I did not want to have to do all that again. I did not want this episode to be for waste. I've been recording for 34 minutes. I don't know how much of that's actual gameplay. At least 10 of it is me talking. I know that much. And I don't know how much of it is me fiddling with the brightness. That could be another... Uh, present. Yo! Asshole! Turn around and take this! Use it! There you go. You're fine now. Is there anything this way? Mark is this way! Anything else? There's no zombies down here. At least on easy, there aren't. Blue, which isn't very useful, because... Blue's for poison. I think on hard and very hard, like the enemies that replace the zombies, I think they can poison you, but there's no enemies right now that can poison me. If I find a green herb, I'm good. I can present that to Mark. I, did, I don't have a green herb, do I? I thought I did. I use that? Green herb. Never mind. Combine them. Oh, fuck. Can I still combine them with the red? Okay. Present to Mark. Because he's the only one here. Kevin already ran off. But Mark needs it. And then hopefully I can find more healing because I'm going to need it. Especially if I get hurt a bunch more. Yo! Idiot, where are you? You're fucking mad. You're fucking moron. I am going- I am going to murder you! I mean, you almost murdered yourself already. Grab the herb! There you go! Now you're healed! Amazing how that works! Ugh. See, I love this game. I forgot about stupid AI, though. There is a mode, lone wolf mode, where you play by yourself. Like, there's no other allies. Which, I'm starting to think that that might actually be a benefit. At least if I do it on very easy. Or if I have the uh, infinite ammo unlocked as well. Uh, because it, you unlock the uh, infinite ammo and stuff. This actually looks real. This was in Resident Evil 3, I think, this area. Maybe 2, but I definitely think 3. Outside of uh, the Apple Inn. Which. I. You're thinking? I doubt that. Let's pick this up. Newspaper lies under a vending machine. Yay! Newspaper. I'm not going to read that. Uh, I feel like there was another special item. Which, uh, I again, I don't really care about the special items because I know I'm not going to find any of them except for, like, the one that I already found just because I vaguely remembered that it was there. Uh, I'm going to need my shotgun. Mark only went to caution. That kind of sucks. Uh, I'm going to get this because Kevin has no idea what to do with it. I talked to the freaking cop. Cool. Five minutes later. That's it then? Get in, please. Only us three are here. See, I think the canon is that all eight get out of this. All eight escape. Like, I actually followed the, uh... Too dangerous. We're taking side street. I actually followed... As you can see, there are too many roadblocks. Yeah. I'm afraid you'll have to get out and continue on foot. I don't want to. But I looked up, like, because people try to figure out the storyline of this based on, like, uh, the files and stuff that you find in them. And based on just knowledge from the other games, like, which scenarios come first, second, and stuff. Basically, this one happens. Ooh! 
Ooh, all kind of stuff. All kind of good stuff. And a save point, but honestly, like I like sort of like the last time, it's kind of really stupid to save here. Because I'm taking all the shotgun rounds. You guys can take one of those shotguns, but uh, I'm taking all the rounds. I don't need my handgun because I have a shotgun. But, like, this one comes first. No matter what. Like, this one comes first, but the fourth scenario comes at, like, the same time. I want to say there's a special item here. A magnum! Well, I'd say that's very special, and that is worth risking a... F Actually, it's not worth risking a first aid for, because, uh, I was weak, so, uh... But that is worth it. I'm going to equip that, because I would rather use those ammo first. Because the shotgun takes forever to reload. So I'd rather use that up, then switch to the shotgun. But, like, this one comes first. Episode 4 comes, like, at the same time as this one. Like, after the explosion, like, they get separated and, like, half of them go to the where scenario four plays out this can't be real scenario five on this one and outbreak file two because there was a second one both of those episode fives come last half of them are at one area half of them are at the other that is dark as hell but um and then the other six scenarios come at different points like i think scenario one of the second game comes right after this scenario one, and then... Scenario three of this one comes not too long after that, and then scenario... Four of this one, or two... Of this one is one of the last ones. His name's Eric! We share a name! And, uh, hopefully we don't share in death, though. Because... What should you do? Uh, wait for us, because uh, we're probably going to handle everything. See, now here, there's two options, and I'm yawning. Uh, I think there's a special item here. I'm sorry. I, I just want the special items, especially if I come back and try to do this 100%. I won't do it on video, because a lot of it's playing the same episodes over and over and over and over again, just to get special items, just to get all the the stuff and I don't want to do videos of that that would take forever but uh I mean it's bad enough that I'm doing like Sonic Adventure and stuff where I'm gonna have to play levels like three or four times to get everything and that's being optimistic that's assuming I actually finish the levels first try uh but I don't want to have another series where I have to oh, shit. holy crap I don't want to have another series where I have to... I forgot I need to pick this stuff up. I need to put down my shotgun shells. I shouldn't need them. I shouldn't need them. Because I should be able to... They're actually clear. They're actually clear. Uh, combine. I might finish this in record time. Finish this in record time? Yes, yeah, sh shoot him! That's who I wanted you to shoot. Shoot her. Oh, that's right. Like, half of them aren't even real. Half of them are fake, because, uh, they just need an ambience. I think everyone survived, too. I think that's the end of the, uh, end of the thing. It's like some of the cutscenes are bright and some aren't. Like, this one, I think this, the FMV cutscenes, they're not brightened. Whew. And if you haven't guessed, because this is with the outbreak, this starts at the beginning of Resident Evil 2, which is the middle of Resident Evil 3. So... <sighs> Woohoo! Oh. I don't think I mentioned this episode, this, this video, that it's hot as hell in my apartment. So I'm surprised I was focused enough to actually win this. Only 45 minutes of actual recording, and only like 35 minutes of that was actual gameplay, I think. 
And I've, I realize I've been hitting that table. Hopefully the microphone doesn't pick up the vibration of that. Like every once in a while I turn my chair to the right, like toward the camera and I hit the that table. Day, luck was definitely not on my side. I forgot. You think you got problems? You think you're badass? <laughs> Man, you don't know shit. You don't know shit. I forgot. Okay, but I forgot, Jim has a lucky coin object as a special object, because each of them has a special object. L Jim has a lucky coin that if you use it and flip it and get heads, the more times in a row you get heads, the higher your critical, critical strike ratio is. I got a rank B at three survivors, one special item, n didn't get no damage or no weapon, which I didn't think I would, and 41%. It's actually way better than I thought I would. That's way better than I thought it would do. Oh, I got all kinds of costumes and everything, and below freezing point, which is annoying as hell. Uh, all of them are annoying as hell. Below freezing point's actually probably the one that's least annoying as hell. Uh, at least on the lower difficulties. I, I, I'm playing on normal, so who the hell knows. But anyway... That's for another video, because I've already been recording way too long, and it's hot as hell in here, and I don't feel like recording anything anymore. If below freezing point was actually below freezing point, and it would make it below freezing point in my room, I'd be fine with that. I, I would play it immediately. I'd be playing that, like, uh, like 50 times straight for the next, until they fix our air conditioner. But, anyway, I am going to end this episode here. Thanks for watching. See you next time.